Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Visual Basics. So as you can tell, based off the subroutine name, we are going to calculate the factors for a particular number that's input to a particular cell. So really the purpose of this is really to show you the capabilities of VBA. So really, it's not overly difficult, but it is a combines everything that we've put together so far. So let's define a couple of variables. I as integer, because we're gonna run a couple of for loops and we're gonna call it main num, main num as, um, let's make it, actually let's make this a long in case we wanna use an extra big number. And then let's go range B2. Uh, let's go main num is equal to range b2. I'm not sure if I have to put value, but we'll, we'll see in a second. So we're going to go 4i is equal to 1, 2, uh, main num. So the purpose, uh, what a factor is, is hopefully everyone knows, is basically all the numbers are perfectly divisible. All the numbers that can be perfectly divisible, the number is perfectly divisible by that x number. So in this case, so for example, if you have 10, uh, one obviously is perfectly, uh, 10 is perfectly divisible by one, and that's always gonna be the case for one. Uh, two is perfectly, uh, 10 is perfectly divisible by two, not three, because three is your remainder of one, if you were to do the long division. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this function called mod, and what mod does, and you'll see I've formatted the sheet a, a bit here and there, playing around with the formatting but here if we go mod 10 3 you'll see that mod gives us the remainder so if we go mod 10 2 it essentially gives us the, the room so whenever the remainder is perfectly zero then that means it is uh, a factor so we're gonna go evaluate and we're gonna go bracket or no sorry we have to go oh no we have to go equals mod bracket and then I'm gonna call the variable main num and bracket colon quotation uh, and then I call I and then bracket comma closing bracket bracket close is equal to zero then so essentially what I did was mod the main num which is the the number the the number that's in value b2 uh divide that by i and tell me what the remainder is if the remainder is zero then what i want you to do is to copy it to row i column three which is column c uh dot value is equal to i uh and if so let's try that. Let's put a value here. And we are going to run it. So let's go F8. So we can see main number is 0 right now. Now it's 10. I should be 0. Now I is 1. Evaluate. It does work. Print to column I. Column, uh, column C. I, which is in that case 1. I'm going to keep going and then press F10, F, F5, just run the whole thing. So you can see here, it printed all the values and it matches it to the row. So this is, this is good. It's kind of messy to have it all the way down, especially if we had a much bigger number. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go dim row num as uh, integer. And I'm going to make uh, row num equal to 2. And I actually I'll make it equal to one. And then I'm gonna make it so that row num increments every time this if statement is successfully true. And instead of I, I'm gonna make it row num. So if we repress F8, debug it. Let's see there. Now it's gonna paste the five there. It's gonna paste the 10 there. Perfect. So let's do a couple things first. Let's clear 
clear column C. Okay, it's actually columns. There you go. Now we have a much cleaner version. Good, good. And now maybe I want to combine all those numbers. So I just don't want to leave it as a list. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a new variable. We're going to call it dim counter as integer. And we are going to make counter equal to evaluate. There's a number of ways you can do this. Evaluate equals to count A of column C. And then I'm going to make, uh, I'm just going to make a message box that says uh, counter. Oh, um, I knew how to, s oh, okay. I gotta put this in here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Folding under the pressure. There you go. Nope. Got some mistakes here. Okay. Evaluate count of column. Okay, still doesn't like something here. Count A, oh, of column C. So you have to put the whole thing there. So that way you can see it, that it's counting to four. So that's just for our own knowledge. So that's why I like about VBA is it tells you whether you're not you're right or wrong. There's no getting around the truth. So we're gonna go four I equals one, two counter. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go, um, let's define a variable. Let's go dim combined as string. And we're gonna go combined is equal to combined uh, and I and we're going to go next I, and then we're just going to paste that somewhere. So we're going to paste that to uh, B4 is equal to combined. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, I pasted the I's instead of, I want actually to paste, hmm. what do I want it to paste? Oh, the values of cells i comma three dot value. There you go. So now it's pasted one, two, five, and ten. Let's just make that a little bit neater by adding. Let's separate it. So we're gonna go comma separated. good so what you'll notice though weirdly is that not weirdly expected is that the first character has a comma in front so we're gonna go if it's equal to one then if I is equal to one then go combined is equal to cells I three dot value I'm not sure if I actually put the dot value uh, and then as well I want the end if it's okay I put the Else, if i is equal to counter, which means it's the last row, then go combine equals combined and uh, and cells i three dot value. Else. There you go. Uh, looks like I have to put comma here, or space here. There you go. Perfect. Let's do a couple things. So let's go range B4 dot wrap text equals true. That way if the number is really big, we're going to go range 
before dot horizontal alignment yeah horizontal alignment equals XL center so it's always the American spelling there you go perfect and then we're gonna do one last thing we're gonna go we're gonna actually move this from here I don't want to see any of the temporary work there you go so we're gonna put a couple text here we're gonna go pick your number pick a number and then we're gonna go factors let's make this a little bit bigger and we're gonna make this one a little bit bigger and we're gonna center this center this Pick a purely large uh, to just pick it like this number. As you can see, it takes quite a while to to run. Uh, so what you can see here is that when we do run it, and it's a bigger number. You can see all the temp work, which isn't the greatest per se. Let's actually expand this. Let's do uh, rows, comma four dot auto fit. So if we don't want it to show, because it kind of looks like not as great if you show the temporary work. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to application dot display alerts equal. Is it? I always usually have like a Word document that has all the stuff that I do it. So I think it's actually called application dot screen updating equals false. So what you'll notice here is now you don't see the screen updating. Perfect. Uh, and if the number's too big, so we probably would don't want a number bigger than a million. We're gonna go. We're just gonna do some like quick errors. Uh, like restrictions, we're gonna go if uh, main num is greater than one million. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then we're gonna go l. Uh, we're gonna go message box. Pick a number under. Exit the sub. And then we're gonna go else if main num is less than or equal to zero because that you can't really do a factor of zero or a negative integer. So we're gonna go please or we're gonna play pick a number greater than zero. And then some people might get smart with us and try to put a decimal place one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go evaluate. We're going to do the same thing here as we've done before. Except for instead of uh, essentially instead of I, we're going to use one because every uh, positive integer should be if it's like 1.5. It won't have a mod of zero, so we're gonna go zero, uh, not equal to zero. Uh, okay, doesn't like something here. There you go. Okay, it still doesn't like something here. Equals mod and main num. Let's just exit and see. Oh, and you put then. There you go. Message box. No decimals, please. And we're going to put exit sub on each of these. 
these are just good errors to ensure the integrity of our calculations. So if I were to do that, so let's try cut, let's try it out. So if I were to put another zero here, it's going to be greater than a million. And we're going to run this. Let's say, please pick a number greater than fine. Pick negative five. Okay, okay, okay. I'll pick one point five. Okay. It still said let's see what happened here. Hmm. Okay. Because it's a long, it's gonna make it seem like it's empty. Hmm. Let's see if we can get around this. I did double. Make this the double as well. It's still not working out. Hmm. Okay. I see. There you go. Now it should work. Perfect. So, and one more thing. I'm just gonna have it clear. So, uh, range B four dot clear. Oh, I mean, I shouldn't have it dot clear. I should have dot delete instead. So that way it won't clear my uh, line that I've created. Perfect. So let's test this out. Maybe I should make it so that instead of dot delete, I'll just go dot uh, value is equal to blank blank. Perfect. So that's how you create a simple program in VBA. So essentially, what we did was we created a uh, uh, program that allows you to calculate all the factors for a particular number. So what we're going to do quickly is we're going to go to the developer tab and we're going to insert this button here and we're going to say, we're going to call this assign it to the factors module and then we're going to call this run. I'm going to increase the size if I can. And now we can close this, and now we can calculate this whenever we want. And let's just throw in one more thing. We're gonna throw in then say message box com complete. So let's pick a couple numbers. Number is too big. So let's go 18. Perfect. So really neat. Showed you how to use the developer tab to create a button. So this is really help really helpful and useful. Uh, and that's it for now. So I know it was a little bit of a longer video, but hopefully you learned something and know how to apply and create something useful. Thank you.